Hi everyone, and welcome to my next video tutorial where I'll be teaching you how to add a session timeout to your Django web application. Now for those of you that are wondering what on earth is a session timeout? So basically a session timeout is a way in which we can limit and restrict our sessions. So let's say for example that you are logged into your account and you have an urgent phone call or something comes up and you have to leave your computer and you forget to log out. What could technically happen is if you're in a public setting and you're still logged into your account and it's wide open, someone could easily just go ahead and, you know, just mess around with your account, delete some data, etc. So what we want to do is we want to limit that session by adding a session timeout. Now we can set this session timeout to uh, 10 seconds, 10 minutes or 10 hours. Okay, so this is a very useful package as you can see here on my screen called Django Auto Logout. We also need to use a package wizard called Pytes, okay? So this is a time zone definition sort of package that we'll make use of. And I'll be following through the documentation here and helping you step by step. It's very simple and it's very easy, so rest assured. So I've gone ahead and I've created a simple application here. So I basically have login functionality. So I would urge you to try this out on a application or project that you have, where you have basic login functionality and logout functionality. That's all you need. So for example, as long as you have a basic form that allows you to actually go ahead and log in, okay, and then also to go ahead and log out, then you are good to go. That's all you need. You don't need anything else, just basic login and logout functionality. All right. So if you're good with that, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna do is we want to install these two packages. So go ahead and stop your server for the moment. Make sure that you're in your virtual environment, okay, and install the following packages. So first we have Django Auto Logout. So I'm gonna copy that, paste that in, and install it. So Django Auto Logout. Perfect, so it's been installed. Great, now the next package, so that's going to be uh, Pytes. So we can go ahead and copy that and install it. Now don't worry, what I'm going to do is I will like always attach all the links that I use for all my resources I'll put in the description below. And I'll do the, I do this in every video, so just some reassurance for you. So in this case, the following uh, pages here will all be in the description below for you. So the two package links if, if you want to read more about it. And also this GitHub documentation, which is very helpful, which is based on this auto logout. Because the auto logout page here on uh, pip is very vague. So the documentation gives you some more information and guidance. Okay, so I'll zoom in here just to make it a bit easier for you. Okay, that should be a bit better. So we've gone ahead and we've already installed Django auto logout. Next, we need to add the following uh, to our j middleware and we need to add it after the default middleware, which means we need to add it at the end. So it's called Django Auto Logout Middleware. So we can copy this. Head over to your Django application in your settings.py here. So as you can see here, I'm in my settings.py. And you want to just add it at the end of the middleware. So let's read that carefully again. Append after the default middleware. So I'll add it right here at the end. So here I'm just going to put Django Auto Logout. I'm just going to add a comment here just to make it clear for you guys. So you want to add it just here at the end. Okay, uh, that looks fine. Okay, so we also have a notice here that says make sure the following middlewares are used before doing this. So here we have Django Contrib, so sessions, auth, and messages. So let's see if those middlewares are in. So sessions. Uh, our next one, I believe, is auth. Okay, but since, uh, here it is, auth. And the last one is messages. Great, so we have all of that. Now do bear in mind this might look slightly different for you depending on the Django version you're using. I'm using Django 4 or 4.1, so don't worry if it is slightly out of detail. You, If you do read the documentation here, which I'll provide, uh, it does say which version of Django it does support, so that will give you some clarity. Okay, so we can see here, this is the basic functionality here. So if you want to log out a user if there are no requests for a long time, we can add this to settings.py, which is auto logout equals idle time 600. Now this is done in seconds. So in this case, it's 600 seconds, which equates to about 10 minutes of downtime. So you can read uh, through all of this here. 
We can also redirect to our login page immediately after the idle time has expired. So essentially what can happen is once uh, the session has expired, it's automatically in real time going to log out for us. And this is a really cool function that we can actually go ahead and add. Okay, so you can read a little bit here about the details. So I've gone ahead and simplified it for you and I'm going to show you step by step what you actually need to do. But you can read through the documentation and see what you want to add and remove. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to scroll down to this redirect to login immediately section. And if you scroll slightly down, okay, we need to add in a client side script in our template section. So we need to add this here, which is Django auto logout context processes here. So we need to add this next to templates. So we can scroll down here by templates and we can just put this right down here like so. So go ahead and make sure you have the following now in place. So that's the second thing you need to add. So to reiterate, make sure you've got the following middleware in place. And I'm gonna add a comment for each new thing that we do. And I'll add that there. And actually to make it clear, we can just say number one, so step one, and step two, just to give you guys some clarity so you are up to speed. Okay, right. So let's carry on with the next set of steps. So the next thing that we wanna do is we want to redirect to the login page. So as you saw by default, when I went ahead to log in to my dashboard and I logged out, I automatically set it in my views to return to my home page. But what we can do here is we can add this functionality here, which is going to override all of our redirects and everything. And as soon as a session expires, it's going to redirect automatically to the login page. Now, this package is very smart in a sense that it's very intuitive as it redirects automatically to your login page automatically. So it knows if you have login functionality in place, it will know that you want to redirect to your login page. Okay, so this is very helpful. So we can go ahead and copy that here. And what you wanna do is you want to add this to your dashboard. Okay, because this is where the session is gonna time out. So as you can see, I already have that in place. So for clarity, I'm just going to copy it again, just to follow on with you guys as you code with me. And this would be the third step. So essentially, I'm just gonna put here in HTML. So I'm just gonna put three, okay. So that would be the third thing that you would need to do. Okay, so add that to your dashboard. So essentially the page where you go ahead and log in, the first page that you see. So this is where that session is going to expire. Okay, right, so once you've added that in place, okay, I'm just gonna close all this. Okay, you can close the dashboard. What you wanna do now is you want to go back and let's do step four. So the next thing we want to do, if we scroll back up here, is we want to add in our auto logout functionality. Now there's a lot here that's done, but what I want to do is mix it up a bit. And we're going to add this to settings.py. So I'm going to copy this uh, auto logout functionality, head over to settings.py, and I'm going to add it down here, where it says Django session timeout. So I'm going to add the following, so auto logout 600. So uh, since this is a tutorial, I want to demonstrate it with you guys. So I'm only going to set this to about uh, 10 seconds, okay? Now I'm going to add extra functionality here. So let's see what else we got. So I added the idle time and I changed it to 10 seconds because remember 600 seconds is around 10 minutes. Now you can scroll here for extra functionality here. And you can just have a look at what you want to add. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to redirect to login immediately and add that property to true. Because remember, we added that functionality earlier on um, here, redirect to login immediately. So we need to set that property to true here. So use the re redirect to login immediately option. If we want to redirect the user to the login page immediately after the idle time expires. And like I said, this will kind of happen asynchronous asynchronously, you could say. So go ahead and copy that. And you can add that within the curly braces. Great, and we need one more thing that we want to add. And if you scroll down here, scroll down, you'll see you can show a message when the logout was successful. So what you can do here is you can make use of this message, message here. So the session has expired, please log in again to continue. So I'm gonna also add that in. So copy that. And you can add that in. So this is a bit long and I know it's hard to read. So I'm just gonna add enter and I'm just gonna 
yeah, I'm going to keep it like that. Can I just indent it slightly? All right, there we go. So we have three uh, parameters, you could say, or three key pairs. So the idle time, which is set to 10. So remember, this is in seconds. Redirect to login immediately true. So this means we want to redirect to our uh, login page when we are done. Then the message. So the session has expired. Please log in again to continue. Now for this to actually work, what you need to make sure is that you actually have the Django contrib messages in your app. So what you can do here is press control F and look for messages. And there you have it under installed app. So make sure and double check that you have this in place. Right, and what you can do is you can add in the following message. So this is, you must add this where you actually want to see the message appear. So in our case, we're redirecting to the login page, which means we want to see this message on the login page that the session has expired. So that's the only logical sense that it will make. So you can copy the following, head over to your login page, and I'm going to add it right at the top here. You can decide where you want to add it. It's really up to you. So I'm going to add it right here at the top. And I'm just going to add some properties here. Now I'm making use of a bootstrap seam with a boot swatch. Okay. So you can go ahead and also add some styling and seam. So I'm essentially using bootstrap. So by using bootstrap means I can alter my classes and add something such as alert and alert success. So you'll only have this if you have bootstrap installed. Okay. So make sure that you have that in place. So I'm just going to set this to actually info and I'm going to say text center. Okay. So that is looking in place. So that is that. So remember with our steps. So let's actually go back to where we were. So I believe the last one was step three. Okay. So I just want to get this set and ready for you guys. Okay. Uh, if we head down to the auto logout, this will be uh, four and five will be the Django messages here, which I'll put in five. So just a little bit of a key hint there for you guys, just to make it clearer for you. Okay. So this is everything as we require. So make sure you've got the following in place. So like I said, I want to reiterate to make use of this, you need to ensure that you have bootstrap, that you're making use of bootstrap in your Django application that will give you a color scheme to it. Okay. So that's what you need for this part. Right. So let's actually go ahead and test this out. So what you can do is you can head over to your application, make sure that your server is on. So in my case, it's not. So I'm just going to say Python manage.py run server. Go ahead and press enter. There we go. Perfect. Now what you can do is you can go ahead and log in. So just a simple login. Okay. And log in. Okay, so do nothing. So we're just going to wait for 10 seconds, give or take. And then we should automatically on this page be right, redirected. So take a look at my cursor. I'm not logging out. It's going to do it itself. And in just a moment, there we go. The session has expired. Please log in again to continue. All right, so there we have it. So that is how you can add a session timeout to your application. And it, this is very helpful to ensure that our sessions remain safe. And if for some reason, okay, we are away from our computer for a long time, um, it will automatically expire the session. So if I can give you some advice as to session timeouts, um, I would recommend about, who I would say about 30 minutes would be quite an average if we're looking at a broad general use case. Of course, if you have something very sensitive, then I would say maybe uh, 10, 15 minutes if it's very sensitive, but a general idea is about half an hour. I think that's quite standardized. So you can of course play around with it and everything and just take a look. So yeah, that's it guys. Um, what I can also do is give you some feedback on how to actually get uh, the bootstrap or boot swatch quickly in your application. If you're not sure how to do that, I can add that in quickly. So let me go ahead and explain that. Right. So if you're struggling to get bootstrap, what I usually use is I use something called boot swatch. Okay. So I'm typing that in there for you. So boot swatch. And you can click here on this boot swatch here. So it provides three seams for bootstrap. And what I usually do is I just choose any seam here. So I can open up any of them. I usually click on the drop down and choose bootstrap.min.css. Right click, open the link in a new tab. Then I copy that link, head over to my application, 
And as you'll see here, I just have a basic CSS um, script here. And all I do is I add in here the HTTPS link here. So that's all I do. And that automatically gives me bootstrap in my application. So that is how you can go ahead and add that. And you can also have this all set into place. Of course, I do have other packages in like Django Crispy Forms. That's also something else you can add, but this will help to style everything nicely and get it into place. Okay, so yeah, that's it guys. So that's how you can get everything set and ready to go for your application to ensure that you have session timeouts. All right, thank you again guys.